Oh yeah. Stupid. Welcome to Shadow Alley on this channel. We talk about horror movies and silicone masks. And I need you to write the rest of my intro, damn it. So if you're into that sort of thing, feel free to subscribe and stick around. Okay, today's silicone mask spotlight is the cadaver from The Basement Effects. And it's a real bummer about The Basement Effects. I still don't think they're producing any masks right now. I tried to buy a mask off of them last year and I had to cancel the order because they just never sent it and I couldn't get a hold of the owner or anything. So I unfortunately had to dispute it on PayPal to get my money back, which is a total if they do start making masks again, I completely trust and love the company would still probably keep buying from them because their masks are crazy detailed. And I always use the word visceral because it just looks like real clammy, wet skin. All of their masks look like that. They all look just horrific. None of them look like masks. They all look truly like skin. The attention to detail in the basement effects masks are second to none. It's amazing. This one is called the cadaver and it is their take on a zombie. And you can see when they do the uh, autopsy on a zombie, they kind of do this Y cut and that's essentially what this is. It's the Y cut on a zombie that has come back to life now. The paint job on it is amazing. These are usually $600 on the website and you can get a whole bunch of different paint jobs and this one is pale flesh. So I guess it kind of looks like someone who just recently died, the color just fell out of their skin and now they're up walking around after their incisions from their autopsy. It's really hard to tell on this camera how crazy the paint job is and how many wrinkles are in it and just how grotesque and unbelievably awesome it looks. The paint splotching I think is really what does it. It looks like there's hundreds of layers of paint splotches on this thing and you can see the veins down inside of the flesh it's amazing. Now, if I had a couple critiques of the basement effects. One, they use silicone as their teeth. As their teeth? Who says teeth? They use silicone teeth rather than like a hard acrylic tooth. So if you were gonna do a scene where this zombie was biting someone's arm, maybe a close up on it, you'd have to be real careful because the teeth can actually bend and real teeth shouldn't do that. So depending on what you're using this for, if there's a close up or if the actor is biting their mouth hard enough, you might be able to get those teeth to bend. I usually don't. I haven't in any of my movement trials. But again, that's just something to keep aware of. The teeth are silicone, just like the rest of the mask, so they can bend. So be careful if you're gonna shoot a close-up of this thing biting something, you might see its tooth bend. And one other thing that is maybe not such a bad thing, but because of the thickness of most of their masks, they're able to pile in so much amazing detail. But that thickness does make it a little bit harder to get really good movement. Like this jaw is really thick and really heavy. And you really only get a little bit of movement out of it where some of the lighter, thinner silicone masks, you can really get the mouth open and closed wide. You can really get a lot of movement in the eyebrows and in the cheekbones and things. These ones are much more limited on movement, but what you lack in movement, you more than make up for in just visceral, grotesque detail. These things are awesome. All right, so like normal, let's look at this under some really bright lighting and then under some more movie appropriate lighting. Okay. First off, how unbelievably cool is this thing? I think it looks amazing. I love it. I can't wait to do a zombie horror film with it. Again, look at the movement of the jaw. The mouth really doesn't open that wide. And you might think that's a bad thing, but for a zombie, they're kind of just lumbering around and just barely opening their mouths anyway. If you're gonna do a biting scene with this, it might be a little bit difficult, but if this thing is just lumbering around in the background, slowly following your actors around set, I think it's gonna look perfectly amazing. So cool. Now let's look at it with some more movie appropriate lighting. All right, now that's how it's supposed to look. Little bit of moody, dark lighting on it. It just looks so much cooler. It also hides the scene between your actual eyes and you can always make that look better with makeup. But I think this thing looks amazing. You could get pretty close up on your camera, especially with really good lighting, maybe some backlighting. You could get this thing pretty damn close to the camera before it would ever really start looking like a mask. If this thing was just walking around in the background or if you had some blood on its mouth or some blood coming out of its eyes and ears and nose, you really wouldn't be able to tell that this thing wasn't a real zombie walking around. This thing is amazing. I love it. So what do you think of the cadaver from the basement effect? $600 comes in lots of different color variations. Again, this one is pale skin. I think maybe looking back on it, I would love to see what the dead flesh looks like. It might look like an older, more decomposed zombie. And I think that might be cool. This one is perfect for someone who was just on the autopsy table and then stands up 
and walks out of the uh, morgue. So always shoot around what you have. If I were to shoot this, I would do something similar like that so that it would make sense that it's the pale flesh version. Maybe this thing just died. But again, attention to detail is unbelievable. The movement isn't as good as some of them, but it doesn't matter when it looks this damn cool. So if you're into this, unfortunately, you might not be able to buy one from the basement effects until they start making masks again, but maybe you can find these sometimes on eBay or on Facebook. So if you really need one, check those places. And as always, if you like this sort of content, please do all of those things you're supposed to do to help a channel grow, and I'll see you in the next one. Visceral.